Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show. Trogly's Vlogly 7. It's a sad day. I only got to keep this thing for like a week. It sold a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. And I think I owe some of that success as some other website posted my video and that got me some more views, which probably helped me find the buyer in the end. Now, I'll let you know, when I sold the Headless SG, that was about a month ago. I owned that thing for a year. I was heartbroken packing and shipping that thing out. But the reason why I accepted the price I did for that guitar is because I was just tired of all the hate comments and the dumb people that would offer like one dollar for it. I got the exact same thing with this guitar, but I'm a little bit more happy with the sales price of it. A fun story with the Headless SG is that it actually sold within days of me initially listing it for a really nice amount, but then his wife told him, no, you're not buying that. So I told the guy, it's fine, we can cancel the sale. But today we say goodbye to the Jimi Hendrix. And as for our second boxing today, congrats goes to Carl. He was the winner of the Donzi awesome price deal. So basically what he's getting is a historic guitar for the less than the price of a, like a USA standard. You get the long neck tenon, the ABR1 bridge, you just kind of have to deal with the Donzi paint job. All right, guys, this is actually a different day. We've got four more guitars to pack, but let's talk about, you know, some things that have happened. The Jimi Hendrix Strat, it made it okay. I ended up overnighting it for the guy. He's very happy owning a piece of Gibson history, and Guitar World recently featured an article about that guitar. But today we get to pack up the SGJ. I did a video on this one this past weekend. This is such a great guitar. Uh, there were a few people saying they didn't like theirs, but there's also way more people saying that these are like the best bang for your buck. Now, I can't really say how they are stock because this one's had the modifications, but this is a great metal machine. Now, this is also California Day because all four of these guitars are going to California. Well, I guess one's going to Washington, but that's about the same place anyways. As far as travel distance... But that Dean guitar that we sent out last week when I taught you how to send guitars without gig bags, it actually got damaged. I'll show you some photos here. What is strange is the box did not show any major wear and the area that got chipped was completely wrapped in bubble wrap. So I'm a little bit confused how this damage happened, but I'm glad I had the reverb shipment protection. I'll let you guys know how that pans out.
All right, so there's that. I'm pretty happy with that pack job. I think having a gig bag will also help fight if it does get dinged up somehow. All right, our next guitar here is a signature studio bucket head guitar. I didn't end up reviewing this one because I figured eh, you guys are kind of bucket headed out, but I always love having these guitars around. This is the studio version with the baked maple fretboard. And what was really nice about this one is I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but I just love the wood grain that you can sometimes get on these. This one was in pretty good shape. Uh, the only bad part was there's a little chip to the paint up there and just average light players wear. Your typical heel join line kind of showing, but this is going to a great home and I hope he enjoys it. All right. Seems secure to me. Now I got a couple of old friends going out. I'm surprised that it took this long to find somebody who wanted to own this Futura because there weren't very many made. If you haven't checked out the review, you should, but this is a single slab of maple. There is no neck into the body. This is just one single slab. So there will never be a neck join line. This was initially meant to be a headless design with the tuners down here, but then uh, the final guys at Gibson kind of just ruined it. <laughs> but uh, this is a really cool guitar. It's a little bit neck divey, but it was definitely fun to have. I think my next review out of these will likely be the Corvus 3 because, let's face it, the Corvus 1 and 2, uh, it's basically just the Futura, but with a bolt-on neck, and uh, you just have the same pickups. So we already kind of know how those will sound from this one, so I'll at least find a Corvus 3 yet. <laughs> Yep, I'd say that's secure. And our last guitar to ship, and we gotta get this packed quick before UPS gets here. The Rhino Les Paul. I am so happy I bought this. This has to be one of my favorite modern day customs, and I'm sure it will go down in history as being, you know, the first one with the Apex head carve. I don't even think Gibson is using that anymore, so I think these will become kind of a obscure piece of Gibson, you know, history. <laughs> but I love this thing. Check out the full review if you haven't. Basically, it was called the Rhino because of the introduction, once again, of the Apex head carve, and we have the access heel joint here. It had an ABR1 bridge, so it, so it didn't have any Floyd Rose tomfoolery, so I liked it better like that. This is just a fantastic guitar with that satin finish. So let's go ahead, pack it up for the new owner. And this one. You can hear the packing peanuts move, but the guitar is perfectly secure. All right, so that's all I had to do today. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry there were no unboxings, but hey, I think seven boxings is pretty darn good. 
Hey, if you want to check out my reverb shop and see if there's anything in my old inventory that you want, uh, I'm willing to work some deals. It was like that Rhino last fall. That guy made an offer he didn't think I was going to accept, but it's like time to move on some of this old stuff so I can get on to the new things to review. All right, thank you Troglodytes for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.